Do you find that the speed of your storage devices on the Raspberry Pi absolutely suck? Wouldn't you love to get a bit of that NVMe magic, enjoying high transfer rates suitable for many things like on-device AI or high-speed file serving? Well, you're going to be happy that you clicked this video, because in today's Product of the Week episode, we will be looking at Thank you, Richard, the Raspberry Pi M2 Hat Plus, the storage solution that you really need. The Raspberry Pi M2 Hat Plus is a small Pi hat that sits, wait for it, on top of the Pi, as you would expect. And it gives your Pi access to an M.2 connector. This connector is patched into the Pi via the newly incorporated PCIe expansion that the newer Pis now support, thus giving you PCIe capabilities. Why is this awesome? Seriously, I shouldn't even have to say this, but look, PCIe. Do you have any idea what that means? You'll be able to do PCIe stuff. You want me to explain what that means? Yeah? you know, PCIe. Okay, well, in order to truly appreciate why this board is freaking amazing, let's jump straight into its specs. PCIe guys, come on. Okay, so the best feature by far of this board is that by utilizing the PCIe connector, this allows for M.2 devices to communicate with the Pi at up to 500 megabytes per second, something which simply hasn't been possible for the Pi to do in any shape or form from any of its ports up till this date. This means that if you connect some decent memory modules to the M.2 slot, you could easily use this hat for high-speed data transfers, enabling all kinds of unique projects. But it's not just memory that this hat can support, oh no. Just about any PCIe M.2 device can sit on this board and be used with the Pi, provided that the Pi has the necessary drivers for that thing. So don't be expecting to connect up your RTX 3060 to a Pi anytime soon. But after doing some checking online, there are GPUs that will actually work with this. The specific kind of PCI is Gen 2 and one lane, which may not sound like a lot, but this is far better than anything else the Pi can currently offer. Furthermore, the M.2 connector itself supports 2230 and 2242 form factors and can provide up to three amps of current to the attached card. The first project that comes to my mind is anything server related. Basically, sticking a nice large M.2 memory module into the slot will enable for the Pi to make the most of its one gigabit ethernet connection when serving files across a network. Furthermore, multiple Pis could be clustered together and utilize a mirrored storage for better redundancy, thus creating a super fast network storage solution with high reliability. Another project that comes to mind is AI accelerators. More and more manufacturers are bringing out tiny M.2 AI accelerators that can be inserted into embedded systems to give them an AI boost. As such, combining one of those accelerators with a Pi will give it untold capabilities, including real-time vision decoding at speed, advanced robotic control systems, and potentially large language models. Finally, as the M.2 key can be used with any compatible hardware, it also allows for upgraded Pi installations. In fact, a really useful guy who clearly spends far too much time with Pi computers, Jeff Geerling, has an entire site dedicated to compatible PCIe devices with the Pi 5. So use that list if you want to figure out what to connect your Pi to. The Raspberry Pi M.2 Hat Plus is undoubtedly the hat that we have all needed, and it will clearly play an important role going forward. Adding PCIe to the Pi makes nothing but complete sense and gives makers so much freedom in hardware and software. The best part is that there are already tons of PCIe devices out there that are compatible with the M2 interface, so connecting them to the Pi should be pretty straightforward. So stop what you are doing, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, hit that notify, and head over to the Electromaker store where you can get the Raspberry Pi M2 Hat Plus and all the other things you could ever need for your next project. This is Robin Mitchell, signing off. Woo! Woo!